Hey everyone, it's the Sunday. In this video, I'm going to share on the successful use of hypochlorurea in beta thalassemia major patients. So, a Facebook friend of mine shared a link on my Facebook wall about this successful use of hypochlorurea in thalassemia major. Uh, so, here is the article itself. Basically, some introduction. If you do not know what is hypochlorurea, it's basically used to replace the need of blood transfusion in mainly thalassemia intermediate patients, which, uh, let's say, a patient uh, need to come for blood transfusion every three weeks, and now he could sustain it to, let's say, six weeks, just for example. And it, in some intermediate patient, actually, I heard this like uh, take over the need of blood transfusion means they don't need to come for any blood transfusion. If I'm not wrong, it actually helped. But now they said uh, in beta thalassemia major patient, it can be used too for this drug hypochlorurea. So here is basically some of the introduction on the top of this uh, hypochlorurea has been used in the treatment of sickle cell anemia to evaluate hemoglobin levels and reduce clinical complications. So after like patient have been benefited from it, the dosage of a thalassemia was made when a patient was two years old on the on the basis of anemia retarded development and skinomegaly he substance substance currently received in irregular treatment with blood transfusion and underwent schematry at 6 years of age after his hemoglobin level fell below 6 g per deciter yeah other complications include retarded growth and pupitated development severe bone abnormalities and iron overload ferritin level 300 ng per millimeter even with adequate subscute Tenderous iron chelation therapy 500 mg of desferosamines per kilogram of body weight. So there's some research and the initial dose of hypochlorurea was 15 mg per kilogram per day. After eight weeks, it was increased to 20 mg per kilogram per day. So normally they start off with like a uh, low, lower dosage as for most uh, calculation. As for me, I start off like in SG8, let's say, uh, started for lower dosage because you do not know how how your body react to it. So they normally start off after the first three months of therapy, blood transfusion were at four weeks interval during which time the hemoglobin level were 10 G. 10 is a... Uh, basically your full blood count uh, yeah step 10 is this hemoglobin la. but that occurs just before transition after one year of hypochlorurea therapy the transition will stop altogether with no further major virus sessions in hemoglobin level at the most recent follow-up the patient had gone 24 months without of transfusion, during which time his hemoglobin level remains between 10.6 and 11.9. Whoa, that's good. 10. Point something to 11.9 is like it's more than thalassemia major patient uh, b before their blood transfusion. So it's like during uh, it's a healthy range. Even thalassemia minor patient with they do, do not have any blood transfusion, their hemoglobin is about 10 point something, so to 11 point something is good. Yeah, that's the article shared, uh, meaning this patient has uh, gone through it and it, she has stopped blood transfusion altogether now. So, uh, Andy from Thalysemia, patient and friend also post the article on that. Uh, from this source, you can go and click it. Also share an article. Reduce transfusion, yeah. Yes, uh, you can go check it out too. Yeah, my link it too. So uh, there are the patients saying, uh, they are comment, uh, Canadian family, thanks for it. We, we are strong believer in using body own capability to produce. Yeah, there's uh, many comments. Yeah, some some say it's like helpful. They, they are, their son, like five years old with two spin subscribers. Trashant on episode.
if anyone has a child taking this medication or they're asking for whether it's cause side effect because in new medications the the problem in uh, Singapore that is the medication hydrochlorurea is not used in like I never heard of at least in telesemia major patient I'm not sure intermediate patients are taking because of new medications you do not know enough of it as uh, it's like no proof or even evidence saying it's like useful in like help helping to uh, take over blood transfusion so no patient that that to uh, start on this uh, hydrochlorurea this drug people might request ask the doctor about it that the doctor if they know anything they will tell tell the patient uh, are you suitable or it so patient are worried about the the consequences of this uh, after you take what will happen to you or your, your, your situation Will, will get worse or improve or what side effect you do have will, will cause like damage to your body yeah what, what, what if you get more serious condition that you already have people worry about it so the, the I think the news is not big enough so when there's a like official launch of this saying this uh, hypochlorurea with uh, like experts saying it's like useful many patients have tried and it's uh, worthwhile it's safe to take then more and more patients will be start taking it. Let's say in uh, as shit. Last time it's like new medication. No one that to try because it's like hurt is like uh hurt is bad. You got rumors it's hurt is bad. Saying it's like bad for the kidney, uh might have some uh problem with the li- to the liver. After some time pe- man more and more patients get used to it and they heard like more good news of it. That patient had tried and has benefit from it. So patient by patient w- will follow up to take uh, the doctor will recommend to the doctor and doctor see that other patient uh, has benefit from it will recommend to another patient so continuously more and more patient in in long term so like all telesemia major patient will benefit from it so hope this will will get big I, I heard many people saying already people even ask me why why I never start on this uh, hypochlorurea that uh, th- that they heard a lot of good news they have start or they have heard like good things and they themselves have start their their children have start and have benefit from it and ask me to maybe ask the doctor why why uh, this hypochlorurea will it be good to me benefit from me will reduce my blood transfusion need yeah or even take away this blood transfusion so this uh gen therapy i don't think uh people will go through is like uh, i i it's like it's bad so hypochlorurea hopefully is the next thing to replace this gen therapy uh if, if it's official that it really helped it's, i heard it's like two to three tablets a day yeah a, a week yeah will replace the blood transfusion need yeah so not not sure about that uh, in singapore pe- pe- patients are still uh have has this mystery of uh taking it because ne- never heard of like even the doctor if they will recommend if the doctor recommends means it's official that is safe then uh, recommend to the patient to try maybe try it out say your your condition uh Chun-Hui, your condition is I, I think stable you, you could try this hypochlorurea in my light uh reduce your need your transfusion so your iron level won't get uh so high yeah that, that then you you don't have to come for transfusion so regularly let's say what once in a two months that's what i imagine yeah the doctor will say if it's like proven of it that's safe and you could read it read it it's all in the telesemia patient and friend uh, their sites uh, post by andy and this link i will just link it link it in the below description so hope uh, more news got more good news will be launched for this uh, successful use of hypochlorurea in tele- beta telesemia major patient and hopefully more patients uh, throughout the world will benefit from it so that's basically it for now thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one